Okay, here we go. Very nice, very nice. They're coming up, they're coming up. So we got Shane and Lindy. Very nice. Oh, and the little one, Jane. She didn't want to stay by herself. Hi, I'm Stuart. Oh, you're a lefty, nice. Shane, welcome. Okay, wow, what a handshake. Wow, so we got Shane and Lindy. Uh, how long have you guys been, how long have you guys been um, married? Uh, we got married in 2000. Three. Fifteen years. Fifteen years. I like Shane. I ask him a clear, simple question. He likes to, like, put a little spin on it, you know? Make me think a little bit. So, fifteen years. Very nice. You guys seem like you are madly in love. <laughs> Did you guys feel that? I felt that. That little, yeah, that was awesome. Come up here on the front. Enjoy, enjoy this. I'm going to split you guys up for a second. Shane, you come over here. Lindy and Jane stay over there. Okay. <clears throat> now, here's what we're going to do. Shane. I'm going to take a card. Card trick. We're going to take a card. The Queen of Clubs. Why, Shane? Yeah, why, why are we using the Queen of Clubs? He says, because that's the card that I pulled up. Shane, I, I, I gave you a soft lob to be able to give the most amazing pickup line to your wife, but you just totally dropped it. You're supposed to say, because you're the queen of this club. That's right. <laughs> that's, that's, tell, tell, say, she's the, queen, she's the queen of this club. Wow. Wow. 15 years. That's, that's 15 years of marriage right there. Okay, we're going to take the queen of clubs, okay? Now we're going to take the Queen of Clubs, fold it up like so, and we're going to do have Lindy hold on to it, okay? Right there, bite onto it, right there, okay? It's not to shut you up. <laughs> Shane's like, that's all it takes is a card trick? Do the dishes, let me show you a card trick, okay? Now, Lindy, we're going to take a card, okay? The King of Hearts, why? See how confidently she said that? Even with a card in her mouth, she's like, because he's the queen, he's the king of my heart. Come on, Shane. Come on. 15 years of marriage, Shane. Okay, we're going to take the king of hearts. Fold this up. Now, Shane, I need you to hold on to this as well. Right there. You know the drill. Okay. Now, Shane and Lindy. Act like you guys are married and you know each other. If the cards touch, just the cards. I don't know if you've had your first kiss yet. Magical happen. Cards touch. Whoa! Give a round of applause. Wow. Yes. Jane, that was your parents kissing right there. It was amazing. I felt something. I felt something. Did you feel something, Lindy? Sure. Sure, she says. Because, will you take out your card from your mouth? Open it, yes. Inside is the King of Hearts. But wait! The King of Hearts was there. Take that card out, Shane. Show the audience. The Queen of Clubs. Ladies and gentlemen, magical stuff just happened. Give my... Two lovebirds, a round of applause as they go back to stage. You guys are amazing. Thank you, Shane. Oh, you guys don't want those? As like a, a, a symbol of the amazing moment we just shared on stage and a token of everything we just experienced. <sighs> Great stuff. Now, uh, I must say my life, my life hasn't always been this luxurious. No. It has not. At one point, I had a very interesting job before making YouTube videos. Let's show the picture. Yeah. This is a photo of me cleaning porta potties. 
It is not photoshopped, it is real. Yes, you are making the exact face that I would make every single day for 15 hours a day for $11 an hour. Yeah. Hey, thank you so much. You're the only person that's ever applauded my cleaning porta potties. Actually, no. I must say, I did receive an applause one time when I pulled up to a scout camp that hadn't had porta potties service in over three weeks. And I arrived to the same amount of applause that you just showed me. So, yeah. Uh, I would clean for 15 hours a day. Um, Here's how bad I knew my job was. One day I showed up to work and my boss had two convicts there. Apparently they had put a dry ice bomb inside of a porta potty and the whole thing exploded. Do not try that at home, kids. Um, and so their punishment was to come work with me for a week. So that's how I knew my job was bad because the government decided to use me as a poster child for how not to live your life. Yeah. The convicts actually filed a complaint with the court saying that their community service was inhumane and they won. And I had to keep cleaning porta potties. But now I'm here, let's show the other picture. We'll show the other picture of me cleaning porta potties. These were my first fans. They were actually just fans of the name Honey Bucket. That was the name of the porta potty company Honey Bucket. Honey Bucket, right? Try spreading that on your toast, it's not that great. Okay, but some people ask, how do you, Stuart, how do you get a job cleaning porta potties I would like to get a job cleaning porta potties And to you, I would say, love. Love is how you get a, a job cleaning porta potties You see, I was dating a girl, and I fell madly in love after about three weeks of knowing her. And I said, oh, I'm going to marry this girl. So I quit my high-paying job on the East Coast to stay in this town and marry her. Well, I just, I needed a job, so I found a job cleaning porta potties I thought we are going to sail off into the sunset, very happy, but that was not the case. My first day cleaning porta potties she knocks on my door and says, yeah, we're through. I'm not a big fan of your career choice right now. Crappiest day of my life, literally. Yeah. And so in that moment, you can go back to the Stewart Edge slide. In that moment, I was like, you know, if only I would have known how to read people, my life would have gone a lot different. If only I would have known she did not like a guy that cleaned porta potties. So I made it my commitment to learn how to read people, to know people. So, you know what? Shane and Lindy. You guys did so great up here. Let's bring you back up on stage another time for a little game. Come on, bring them up here. You're like, I did not sign up for this, but I'm here. There we go. There we go. Normally that cue comes at a different point of the show, but uh, we're keeping it at that point. So, we're going to prove a point. I'm going to have you attempt to do something that had I known how to do, I would have never gotten the situation of having to clean porta potties, and that is attempting to read a woman's mind. My mind? Yes, your mind. Oh, right. <laughs> good luck, she says. Okay, Shane, how confident are you in this ability? Not very good. I'm not going to do this well. <laughs> I love that confidence, Shane. I love that confidence. Yeah. That's the confidence we need in life. People need to be more honest. Mr. President, how well do you think you're going to be able to uh, save our country? Not well. I'm really not sure I can save this country. Okay, Shane, here we go. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to look directly into Lindy's eyes. You can step up to the front. And I believe Shane today is going to prove that there is a such thing as love. So Shane, I'm gonna want you to look deeply, deeply into Lindy's eyes. Lindy, why don't you come step up here so you guys are like facing, facing each other. There you go. Very nice. Look into her eyes. 
I want you to think of cards. There are 52 cards in a deck. Ace through king, heart, spades, clubs, diamond. Okay? Ace through kings, heart, spades, clubs, diamond. Any card. There are the easy ones like the queen of hearts or the ace of spades. You can pick one of those or you can go a little bit more difficult. Okay? <laughs> Shane! When you're ready, write down the card that you are thinking, but don't give any hints to anybody. Just write down the card that you are th that you think she is thinking of right there. Write it down, looking deeply into those, reading into those eyes. She's like trying to send some little hints. Is it, it's always in the eyes. It's always in the eyes. You can always tell what someone's thinking by the eyes. Oh, okay. She's an artist. Okay, close that. Don't let anybody see. But keep your finger on. Lindy, for the first time, say to the entire audience what the card you were thinking of is. Six of hearts. The six of hearts. Who thought she was thinking the six of hearts? One person that I think is lying. Shane, prove to me that love is a real thing and show the audience the card that you knew she was thinking of. It is. The three of clubs. <laughs> Shane, you're not doing a really good job at helping prove that love is an actual good thing. <sighs> you said what? The six of six of hearts. You see, Shane, you're not as uh, well versed in this mind reading ability thing as I am because I knew that she was thinking of the six of hearts. Why do you laugh? better at this than I am. Yeah, I have bad more practice. See, I knew, I knew she was thinking of the Six of Hearts. I knew it. And I actually, um, to prove it, um, I, I actually put that um, card in a deck of cards, but I flipped it upside down. And I kept it in a very safe place. gentlemen, inside the teddy bear in front of your eyes the entire time was a deck of cards. I like it you're holding your applause because you know that there's got to be more to the trick than just pulling a deck of cards. I did not spend thousands of dollars on magic school just to pull decks of cards out of teddy bears. No! You said a card, correct? It was the six of hearts. And I said I knew that you were going to say the six of hearts prior to you picking it. Ladies and gentlemen, inside this deck of cards is one card that's flipped upside down. One card that's been flipped upside down and in front of your eyes the entire time. You said, the six of hearts. Lindy, take that card out and show the audience. Ladies and gentlemen, the six of hearts. That's right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Give my wonderful audience members a round of applause as they join me back as they, they head back to stage. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh. I've got one more trick for you guys today. Uh, so listen closely, because I'm going to talk to you about something that I've learned in my life through doing YouTube. So being a magician, I have a very interesting perspective on life. There's a lot of people that say, never trust a magician because he's always trying to trick you. He says, look here but you don't really look there because he's trying to hide something that's happening over here. Now, when I'm on stage, I'm not trying to distract because I'm trying to ruin your day. That's not my point. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to actually point your focus 
because I know if that's where you're looking, that's where you'll find the most enjoyment. So instead of being a master of distraction, you could say, I'm a master of focus. So the person you should trust in the room the most is the magician because he knows all the secrets. Now we're going to play a little game, a game of trust, you could say. Who feels like they are a very trustworthy person? Okay. You back there? How Are you over 18? No? Someone over 18 for liability reasons. You with the purple? Give her a round of applause as she joins me up on stage. Liability, just because uh, some, it's gonna get a little, a little dangerous in here. Here we go. <clears throat> what is your name? You can take this microphone. I'm Shani, and I have a YouTube channel, Educating Shani. Go subscribe. Shani, she's already plugging her channel. Queen, gotta get I just said tell them your name. I didn't say start plugging every all your YouTube. Don't worry, I can't. <laughs> you can't. That's totally fine. You can, you can plug as much as you want. Okay, so we have Shani up here now. Shani, Shane kind of helped. Oh, didn't do a good job at showing that there are good people. In the, uh, no, he did a great job at showing that there are good people in the world, but just not helping my point that love is a good thing that you can actually trust and then get to know people. So, sh so Shani, what? Shani and Shane. Wow, like I picked some good people to join me on stage. Shani, we're going to play a little game, okay? Okay. I'm ready. Inside each of these bags, there's a block of wood. Now, a block of wood is so that they all weigh the same, and there's no way of distinguishing. But in one of them, there is a six-inch nail. Shani, do you want to confirm that that is indeed a sharp nail? Great, it is a very sharp nail. Shani has confirmed. Shit, what's that about? Sure, you can. Oh, no. ah! oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Great, yeah. Shani. Shani has confirmed with a squeal of pain that this is indeed a sharp it nail. Is. It really it's is. True. Now, Shani. Yes. I'm going to mix these bags around. Okay. But I'm going to turn around so the audience cannot see, but you be their eyes to ensure that okay. I'm not doing anything, I didn't see anything, anything, uh, Where did shit. you put it? Where did I see? Okay. Now, Shani, I still know where the nail is. So I want you to mix it around, but be very careful not to give any clues to where it might be as you are. So gently move the bags, gently move the bags. Shani, make that nail disappear if you could. Well, not disappear. That would make you a magician, but make it uh, lose that nail. You feel like you, you've shuffled them around well? Yes. Okay, you guys do not know where the nail is? Now, Shani, I want you to name a bag. One, two, three, or four. Four. Four? My favorite number. Shani, that was great. See, ladies and gentlemen, I trusted Shani. I knew. This is an example of life. In life, you can trust people. You're supposed to trust people. When someone says you, you trust them. So, ladies and gentlemen, Shani. He's gotta be careful. He's gonna hurt himself. Why oh, have to do this? Wait, Shani, wait. Are you kidding me right now? Wait. What? Sorry. I'm a little confused. Me too. You're acting as though you don't remember. I which... don't remember. What? Was I supposed to? <laughs> and was I supposed to pay attention? You didn't tell me that. <laughs> Should we start over? Shani. Yes? I've been up here trying to show these kids that you can trust people in life. And then I expected you to know the, the nail and she didn't even, she didn't even try. No, 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 no. no, no, no. We've started, we've started. I'm so confused. <laughs> okay. I'm terrified Shani, right if, now. <laughs> if, you, if, if you have to lie to me, if you have to lie to me, you can. Forget the thing about trust, kids. Okay. You can't trust people. Okay. Up that music. The music to, tr to match my emotions right now. Shani, there are three bags left. Let me remind you, one of them does have a six-inch nail that can pale my hair! Am I supposed to know where it is? <laughs> yes, 
Shani, you were supposed to remember where it is. I remember where it is. You don't. But name a bag. One, two, or three. Two. Two. Bro, be careful. Girl, be careful. She says. No, bro. Oh, bro. Ah. Woo. Shani, there are two bags left. One of them has a six inch down. Which one? Which one? Oh, no. Are you going to smash one, the one? One or I two. Pick? One or two. I'm going to smash the one you say. Which one? Two. Two? What percent certain are you? What percent certain are you? What percent? I am... I know this is a very emotional moment right now. There's a lot of... What percent certain are you? 79.8. 79.8. Yes. Shani, there's a six inch nail in one of those. This is not a joke. If you... Again, even if you have to lie to me, tell me which bag... What? Which one should I slam my hand down on in front of all of these people? One, 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 one. That one. This one? Mm -hmm. What was that? She says, I'm sorry, she messed it up. No, Shani, you're totally, you did not mess it up. In fact, you enhanced it. Thank you so yeah, much, Shani. You're welcome. Am I done? Give her a round of applause. Yes, thank you so much. She's like, I am off this stage. Thank you so much, Shani. Uh, guys, thank you so much. Now, a little word of advice. In life, the best way to get to find success through YouTube and through everything you're doing is find somebody that's done what you're trying to do and follow their advice exactly as they give it. That is what I have learned. As a magician, I stand up on stage and I point people's focus and people can trust me on stage. Find the people in your career path that are doing what you're doing and if you trust what they say, then you will be able to achieve what you're hoping to achieve. And that is what I have learned through doing my YouTube channel. Guys, my name is Stuart Edge. Thank you so much. Have a great time at CBX Live.